Let us praise the Lord and gather in His altar to worship His name. Come, let us pray, let us open our hearts to receive His blessings and to fear His love. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. And together we say, I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have, have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my, thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed, failed to do, through, through my fault, through my fault, through, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. of your Son, have raised up a fallen world, 
Fill your faithful with the holy joy. For on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Zechariah. Thus says the Lord, Rejoice heartily, O daughter Zion. Shout for joy, O daughter Jerusalem. See, your king shall come to you, a just savior is he. Meek and riding on an ass, on a colt the fold of an ass. He shall banish the chariot from Ephraim, and the horse from Jerusalem. The warrior's bow shall be punished, and he shall proclaim peace to the nations. His dominion shall be from sea to sea, and from the river to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. I will extol you, O my God and King, and I will bless your name forever and ever. I will Every day will I name. bless you, and I will praise your name forever and ever. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all, and compassionate toward all his works. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. The Lord is faithful in all his words and holy in all his works. The Lord lifts up all who are falling and raises up all who are bowed down. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, you are not in the flesh. On the contrary, you are in the spirit if only the Spirit of God dwells in you. Whoever does not have the Spirit of Christ does not belong to him. If the only Spirit, the one who raised Jesus Christ from the dead, dwells in you. The one who raised Christ from the dead will give life to your mortal bodies also through his Spirit that dwells in you. Consequently, brothers and sisters, we are not debtors to the flesh to live according to the flesh. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if the spirit you put to the death, the deeds of the body, you will die. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all stand. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to the little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus exclaimed, I give you praise, I give you praise, 
I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. For although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the little ones. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves. For my yoke is easy and my burden light. Dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Magandang hapon po, Father. Naalala ko ang isang uh, karanasan ng uh, malapit na ang isang election. Nandito po ako sa Batangas noon at pinuntahan ako ng isang kapatid na pari at nagaya para magmeryenda. Sa aming paglabas, so maraming mga sasakyan, nandoon yung mga paripernalis, yung mga pangampanya, yung mga tarpulin, at iba't iba ang nakasulat bilang uh, pagpapakilala ng mga naghahangad na maglingkod sa bayan. Kaya naalala ko yung isa, nakita nasa una namin yung tricycle, nandun yung tarpulin sa likod ng kanyang tricycle. Ang nakalagay ay ang kandidatong magbibigay sa inyo ng trabaho. Kaya sabi nung uh, kabarkada kong pare, abis sa akin ay, eh, pare, huwag natin iboboto yan. Sabi, bakit naman? Ay, ayan niya, ang pangako ay magbibigay ng trabaho. May sabi sa akin ng kabarkada kong pare, aba, ay tayo marami ng trabaho, ay bibigyan pa tayo ng trabaho, bag natin ibubuto yan. Ay di ako yung natawa na lamang. Maya-maya, di kami umobertake. May isa na naman tricycle, nandun din, ano? At ang... Uh, Nandun na ang nakalagay naman ay ang kandidatong madali niyong lapitan. Ba, sabi ko, siguro naman ito wala ng komentaryo. Ba, may, may umimik na naman. Ba, pare, wag tayo dyan. Bakit? Ako? Ay, ay ang sabi, madaling lapitan, ay, pero baka yan ay mahirap namang hanapin. Ba, ay totoo nga naman eh. May mga lingkod tayo kaya ano yun, madali daw lapitan, pero kahirap namang hanapin, ay papaano yan? Ay, pero ibig sabihin lamang, syempre ang hangad natin sa ating buhay, ano ba yung sitwasyon, yun tayo ay mayroong malalapitan. Maging sa panahon ng pagsubok, panahon ng problema, lumalakas ang ating loob kapag alam natin na mayroon tayong matatakbuhan, mayroon tayong malalapitan, maging sa panahon ng tagumpay, ang nais natin, mayroon man lamang tayong matatakbuhan o malalapitan na mapagsasabihan ng pagbabahaginan ng ating tagumpay, ng ating mga karanasan. Kaya nga, magsarap ano, sa buhay natin na nakasisiguro tayo na anumang sitwasyon, mayroon tayong malalapitan. E sa ating ibanghelyong napakinggan, narito ang ating Panginoong Sokristo na nag-aanyaya sa atin na tayo ay lumapit sa Kanya. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Lumapit kayo sa akin, 
kayong nabibigatan, napapagal, at kay pagbibigyan ko ng kapahingahan. Kaya ang ibig sabihin lamang nito, nakasisiguro tayo na sa anumang karanasan natin sa ating buhay, naroon ang ating Panginoon na lagi nating malalapitan, mapapagbahaginan ng anumang ating nararanasan sa ating buhay, lalo na kung tayo ay nahihirapan at dumaranas ng mga pagsubok sa ating buhay. Napakaganda ng pangako ng ating Panginoon. I will give you rest. Pagpapahingahin ko kayo. Bakit? Dahil nandoon yung ating Panginoong Sukristo na sasamahan tayo doon sa ating paglalakbay. Sasamahan niya tayo anuman ang ating pasanin. Kung kaya nga, nakasisiguro tayo na gagaan ang ating mga dalahin, ang ating mga pasanin, sapagkat kasama natin ang ating Panginoon. Kaya, napakaganda ng paanyaya niya. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For I am meek and humble of heart. And you will find rest for yourselves. Ito yung siniguro sa atin ng ating Panginoong Sokristo. Pasanin natin yung kanyang pamato. Dahil magaan. Magaan yung kanyang pasanin. Dahil tunay, hindi ito katulad ng pinapapasan ng mga leader doon sa Israel. Kung saan nandoon yung napakaraming pasani ng mga tao. Iba't iba. Tinan yung mga batas na napakarami na kailangan nilang sundin. Kung kaya nga nandoon yung mga tao na nakakaranas ng pagkapagod, ng uh, pangihina. Kaya narito yung ating Panginoon na nag-aanyaya, Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened. Narito ang ating Panginoon na sinisiguro niya na ang ibibigay niya sa atin ay magaang pasanin dahil sasamahan niya tayo sa pagpapasan. Kaya, ang mahalaga dito ngayon, makita natin yung napakagandang panyay sa atin ng ating Panginoon. Na anuman yung ating hinaharap sa buhay, kailangan tayo ay laging lumapit sa Kanya. Kailangan tayo ay tumawag sa Kanya. Sapagkat hindi siya magpapabaya. Ano mga ang bigat ang ating pasanin? Kung kasama natin ang ating Panginoon, tiyak, ito ay kaya natin. Ito ay gagaan sapagkat tutulungan tayo ng ating Panginoon. Kaya nga, ito yung magandang suriin natin ngayon. Kailan tayo lumalapit sa ating Panginoon? At narong ba yung ating pagsusumikap na laging makapiling ang ating Panginoon? Dahil baka nangyayari, tumatakbo lamang tayo sa Kanya kapag nariyan ha. Mabigat na ang lahat. Pero kapag nariyan ang tagumpay, iniiwan natin siya kung saan-saan tayo pumupunta at nalilimutan na natin ang ating Panginoon. Kaya sana'y lagi nating maalaala at makita yung kahalagahan na tayo ay lumapit sa ating Panginoon anuman yung sitwasyon natin sa ating buhay. Dahil ang katotohanan lagi nating kasama ang ating Panginoon, hindi siya nangiiwan. Tayo lamang ang madalas na kumakalas at nakakalimot sa ating Panginoon. Kaya, bigyan natin ang iba yung pansin. Yung presensya ng Panginoon sa ating buhay. Dahil wala siyang ibang hangad sa atin, kundi tayong lahat ay magkamit ng tagumpay, magkamit ng kaligtasan. Ito, ang napakagandang hangad sa atin na ating Panginoon. Kaya, sana, wag tayong lalayo, wag tayong bibitaw sa ating Panginoon. Ano man yung sitwasyon natin sa buhay, tayo ay dumaranas ng pagsubok, 
tayo may dumaranas ng tagumpay, sana lagi tayong lumapit, kumapit, tumawag sa ating Panginoon. At nawa, wag din tayo mga kalimot na laging magpasalamat sa Kanya sapagat tunay ang pag-ibig ng Diyos sa atin ay laging suma sa atin. Ang Kanyang pagabay ay laging nasa sa atin. Kaya, wag tayong bibitaw sa ating Panginoon. Please all stand. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Gathered as members of God's family, each of us burdened with a number of problems and difficulties, we turn to Jesus, the source of our hope and consolation. To Him we present our petitions as we say, Merciful Jesus, hear our prayer. Merciful Jesus, hear our prayer. That the whole Church may be source of comfort and encouragement to all those who are experiencing hardships, sickness, or ill treatment, let us pray. Merciful, Merciful Jesus, Jesus, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the Holy Father, Pope Francis, our bishops, our priests, and all other religious leaders may experience the consolation of God's grace even in the midst of the difficulties they encounter in their ministry. Let us pray. Merciful, Merciful Jesus, Jesus, hear our prayer. That all our civil leaders and other people in authority may do all in their power to promote the common good and provide food, shelter, education, and justice to all the citizens in our country, let us pray. Merciful, Merciful Jesus, Jesus, hear our prayer. prayer. That all those who are afflicted by various diseases may find in the attending doctors and nurses and their relatives the relief they earn for. Let us pray. Merciful, Merciful Jesus, Jesus, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That all of us gathered in this Eucharistic assembly may experience the Lord's comfort and become, in turn, instruments of His compassionate love to all those who are suffering or distressed. Let us pray. Merciful, Merciful Jesus, Jesus, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Lord Jesus, King of mercy and of all consolation, teach us to be gentle and humble of heart as you are. May we faithfully carry out our duties so as to experience the joy of your comfort and inherit your lasting reward in heaven, you who live and heal forever and ever. Amen. Please all be seated. For all those who have envelope offerings, you may drop them at our collection baskets. Glory, we 
Pray, dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May this oblation dedicated to your name Purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by His birth, He brought renewal to humanity's fallen state, and by His suffering counseled out our sins, by His, ri by His rising from the dead, He has opened the way to eternal life, and by ascending to you, O Father, He has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Sana in the blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Sana, O Sana in the For those who cannot kneel, please remain standing with reverence. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we will be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. 
together with Francis, our Pope, and Gilbert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, his most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honors is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Amen. Please all stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to sing. from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you, peace with you.
For those who cannot kneel, please remain standing with reverence. Dear brothers and sisters, behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, the word, and my soul, my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Our second collection is intended for the continuing development of the parish and national shrine of St. Padre Pio. 
Thank you for your offering. Let us all stand. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Dasalin po natin ang panalangin ng pagtitiwala kay Santo Padre Pio. Padre Pio, taga Pietralcina, Mongheng Banal, pintakasing santo ng milenyong kasalukuyan, gabay namin sa pagtahak sa landasing makalangit, takbuhan sa pangailangan, huwara ng pagtitiis. Sa iyo namin ililalapit aming mga kagipitan. Sa iyo po binibilin kalusugan at kabuhayan. Di man karapat-dapat, kami, kami po ay pagbigyan, bendisyonan at basbasan maging ganap, maging ganap sa buhay. Lumayo na kami, kami, umiwas sa kasalanan, lumapit lagi sa Diyos, maging matatag at matibay. Sa mabuting balita ng pagliligtas, turuan mo kami nawa. Sa tuwing ay makinig, magnilay at sumampalataya. Amin pong pakiusap itong mga kahilingan. Puso ay nagsisisi, nagtitikang tayitiman. Di na muling magkasala, sunod lagi sa Diyos amang, kaysa ng Espiritu at ni Yesus sa tagapagitan. Amen. Please all be seated for some announcements. Una sa inyong pagdalaw sa pambansang Dambana, mangyaring pakaingatan ang inyong mga personal na gamit. Hangad namin ang isang matiwasay at maayos na pagbisita sa National Shrine. Ikalawa, kung inyo pong mapapansin ay isinasagawa na ang pagsasaayos ng extension area sa gilid nitong main church at ang minor repairs ng Divine Mercy Sanctuary. Muli po kaming nananawagan sa mga may mabubuting puso na nagnanais maging bahagi ng pagawain ito. Mangyaring makipag-ugnayan kayo sa opisina ng parokya o sa ating pamisahan para sa inyong mga tulong at donasyon. Ikatlo, mga kapiyo. 
Ang osteria ay lugar dito sa pambansang Dambana na maaaring puntahan at kainan ng mga bumibisita dito. Itinayo natin ito bilang bahagi ng updated complementary norms to the 1983 Canon Law and requirement of the CBCP as a national shrine. Kaugnay nito ay mahigpit tayong pinapaalalahanan sa ating panawagang clay go or clean as you go sa lahat ng lugar sa loob ng pambansang Dambana, lalo tigit sa osteria. Amin din pong pinaaalala na huwag mag-iwan ng anumang kalat sa inyong mga upuan. Tayo po ay may mga basurahan sa likod at gilid ng ating simbahan. Pinaalam din po sa lahat na gamit ang ating main arch entrance na tayo po ay may mga malalaking safe and free parking dito sa loob ng pambansang Dambana. Ikaapat, mga kapiyo, palagi po nating tandaan na ang pambansang Dambana ay isang sagrado at banal na lugar. Mangyaring sa pagbisita natin dito ay sundin ang mga tama at angkop na kasuotan, tanda ng pagsamba at pagbibigay galang sa ating Panginoon. Ikalima, Isang patalastas, bahagi ng layuning pagpapaunlad o ad experimentum ng parokya at pambansang dambana ni Santo Padre Pio. Simula po noong Hunyo ay sa kapilya na ng San Pedro ipinagdiriwang ang mga pamparokyang gawaing sakramental tulad ng binyag, kasal at mga katulad nito. Gayun paman, ang inyong makikita ang mga pagdiriwang ng kasal dito sa main church ngayong buwan ng Hulyo ay mga nakareserve na schedules noong nagdaang taon pa at nagkataong napasabay sa pagsasaayos ng Divine Mercy Sanctuary. Mangyaring makipag-ugnayan kayo sa opisina para sa mga paglilinaw at katanungan. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pakikisa at mangyaring panatilihin natin ang kalinisan, katahimikan at diwa ng pananalangin sa loob at labas ng ating simbahan. Maari na po tayong magsitayo para sa pagbabasbas ng mga religious articles. Mga kapatid, manalangin tayo sa Diyos sa mga makapangyarihan upang tayo maging kawangis ni Kristo sa tayimti ng pagdalangin sa tulong ng mga larawan at dasalan. O Panginoong Diyos, Ikaw ang bukal ng lahat ng pagpapala at biyaya. Ibuos mo ang iyong bendisyon sa mga gamit na ito sa pananalangin, mga rosaryo, imahin at dasalan na nagpapaalala ng iyong kabutihan, kabanalan at pagmamahal sa amin upang lahat na dumulog at magdasal gamit ang mga ito ay magtamo ng iyong awa at biyaya. Lobin mong tularan nila ang kabanalan at aral ng Panginoon at ng mga santo magpa sa walang hanggan. Amen. Sama-sama po tayong manalangin. Ama namin, sumasalangit ka. Sambahin ang ngalan mo. Mapasa amin ang kaharian mo. Sundin ang loob mo dito sa lupa para nang sa langit. Bigyan mo kami ngayon ng aming kakanin sa araw-araw at patawarin mo kami sa aming mga sala para nang pagpapatawad namin sa nagkakasala sa amin. Huwag mo kaming ipahintulot sa tukso, at iadya mo kami sa lahat ng masama. Amen. Abagi noong Maria, napupuno ka ng grasya, ang Panginoong Diyos ay suma sa iyo. Bukod kang pinagpala sa babaeng lahat, at pinagpala naman ang iyong anak na si Jesus. Santa Maria, Ina ng Diyos, ipanalangin mo kaming makasalanan, ngayon at kung kami mamamatay. Amen. Luwalhati sa Ama, sa Anak at sa Espiritu Santo, kapara nung una, ngayon at magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Ama namin, sumasalangit ka, sambahin ang ngalan mo. Mapasa amin ang kaharian mo. Sundin ang loob mo dito sa lupa para nang sa langit. Bigyan mo kami ngayon ng aming kakanin sa araw-araw at patawarin mo kami sa aming mga sala para nang pagpapatawad namin sa nagkakasala sa amin. Huwag mo kaming ipahintulot sa tukso at iadya mo kami sa lahat ng masama. Amen. Abagi noong Maria, napupuno ka ng grasya, ang Panginoong Diyos ay suma sa iyo. Bukod kang pinagpala sa babaeng lahat, at pinagpala naman ang iyong anak na si Jesus, Santa Maria, Ina ng Diyos, ipanalangin mo kaming makasalanan ngayon at kung kami mamamatay. Amen. Walhati sa Ama, sa Anak at sa Espiritu Santo, kapara nung una, ngayon at magpasawalang hanggan. Amen.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord in one another. Thanks be to God. Give thanks to the Lord, give thanks to the Lord, proclaim His name, proclaim His name, give thanks to the Lord, give thanks to the Lord, give thanks to the Lord, proclaim His name, Proclaim His name, give thanks to the Lord.